meeting is now live streaming. Hey friends, this is Ben Grosscup with the People's Music Network for Songs of Freedom and Struggle. Uh, we've got a bunch of people right now in the Zoom room getting ready to play some songs for this PMN song and poetry swap. I wanna tell you, so the People's Music Network sustains and grows a diverse community of performing artists, activists, and allies who use music, poetry, and other art forms as catalysts for a just and peaceful world. And every week we have been running these gatherings online, um, every week since the pandemic started, really. Um, and I've been pretty amazed because we keep getting these long wait lists. I mean, we had like, you know, we had room for like 20 people today. We have like 15 people on the wait list. Uh, so I think there's two ways to look at that. If you see something that's happening on this regular basis and you're like, gosh, I want to be a part of that thing. Well, you could say, ah, oh, geez, the odds of me getting in aren't that good. You know, I'm going to forget about it. Or you could say, wow, why is it that people want to be involved with this thing? And one of the things I'm trying to figure out right now in terms of people's music network, because we're just like, you know, I'm the only staff person right now. We, we're historically going back 40 years. We've been a very volunteer based kind of organization. People have been like, you know, putting in lots of work for, for decades really to help facilitate this community where people come together to share music that's about peace and justice. And I've been thinking about this, like how do you get the energy focused, you know, in a way that, that like builds on this wonderful thing that we have going, but also like brings more people in because that's the thing that makes it interesting I, to me. And I think to a lot of people is that like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a stable thing, but it's also like a dynamic thing. You know, people are coming into the process. And so one of the things that's going to be coming up really, really soon, actually, as, as kind of a concrete uh, next step for us is, is doing our virtual winter convergence. And we have been doing in-person uh, winter gatherings for a very long time. Uh, going back to 1981, which is actually the year I was born, believe it or not. Uh, but this is um, our website, peoplesmusic.org. This is what it looks like. You know, it's got our mission statement and uh, uh, everything like that on the front. And then this, of course, is where we put all the upcoming events. And right now, there's not a lot of upcoming events because we're going to be really focused on getting this amazing coming together international uh, convergence, uh, the People's Music Network Virtual Winter Convergence. It's the last three days of January 2021. That is specifically January 29th through 31st. A lot of things are coming together for this. This is, uh, it's going to include some really exciting educational workshops. We, we did um, educational workshops. Uh, we've been doing those at our in-person gatherings for decades. The difference here is we're, we're doing those educational workshops online. And what we're really trying to do with these workshops is explore the different ways that activist musicians are using the craft of music, but also like the technologies that make this possible to keep this thing alive in, in the current moment. Uh, we've got a whole workshop track that's coming together right now on how activist choral organizations are actually uh, able to get together and uh, still stay active and vibrant in the midst of this pandemic. Um, and and, and um, it's, it's just uh, going to be really interesting. And there's going to be stuff on, on um, techniques for home recording, uh, some, some social time built in because again this is the people's music network and we are all about networking and supporting one another during this pandemic both by like sustaining the gift of song itself but also in terms of like thinking about our responsibility as artists to a movement that is trying to change conditions in this country in some some really major ways so so that's a, a little bit about what's going to be coming up at the end of of january and all of you guys are going to be receiving some emails uh kind of talking about what is happening with that. And I think that's going to be a real opportunity for us to, to expand our, um, our reach and to include more people uh, in, in the People's Music Network. All right. So uh, look, I just want to say a few reminders about the event that we're in right now. Um, go ahead and share the Facebook event page if you can. Um, or you can even post this following text to social media. I'm posting it into the chat right as we speak. Um, what, what I just posted is it says, tune in to the live stream of today's People's Music Network 
online song and poetry swap. And it has the link to the YouTube um, uh, where we're actually broadcasting right now. And that, that's a great way to, to welcome people into to hearing some of the songs that are going to be shared today. We also got lyrics for, for almost, almost all the songs uh, today had lyrics submitted with them. So if you want to follow along with lyrics as we go along, you can click that link that I just posted. Um, and, and also if, if, if you're wanting to have the screen kind of uh, taken up with the lyrics of your song, and if I have them, all you have to do is, is just message me before you perform or let me know, hey, Ben, uh, right when, when you start, uh, I would like it if you could share the lyrics and then we can move them a- along, you know, and let people read along as, as you go. It does take up the screen kind of big. So not everybody wants that. So I don't assume that you want that unless you ask for it, which I'm, I'm quite happy to, to do. All right. So, and then the next thing is like, again, why are we here? We're, we're here to hear each other and to encourage one another. So I want to ask each person when you perform to take a moment especially right before you perform and take a little special effort to listen to the song um, maker who just, or or, or poet who just uh, performed right before you. And then actually say something about what you heard from that performer, from that artist. And uh, ideally you want it to be positive. You want your comment to be focused on kind of what your experience was and brief. That's really helpful. Um, And, and uh, you know, I think, I, I often say this because I think that we tend to want to sort of like praise and praise and praise and praise. You know, you got to think about that. Like, is that what you're here for is to get praise or is, is it, is it about like the sharing itself, you know? Um, and, and if you feel like praising, go ahead, right ahead and do it. But I'm just saying there's something deeper than praise that we're after here, which is, the quality of listening that happens when, when you open up your heart to somebody else who's trying to give you something, you know, even over this crazy, stupid zoom system, it's like people out there are trying to give you something. And, 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 and we are here also to receive as well as to give. So that's, that's what this is about. And also we can do that through the chat box. Feel free to make a little comment, um, you know, encouraging, uh, your fellow artists today. Um, in the chat box. We're not so much doing like song critique, although we do have sessions about that where it's like focused peer critique sessions, which has kind of a structure to it so that we can help one another write better songs and better, uh, better poems. So, so that's, that's right on it. And then the last thing is we got a five minute limit today and uh, we got a lot of people who want to perform. So with that in mind, I'm going to try to cut my comments here and just uh, ask folks to stay on time. So our first performer for today is Deborah Silverstein. She's looking ready here. I want to welcome you, Deborah. How are you doing, Deborah? Hi, Ben. Thanks. I'm doing okay. Happy to be here and have have a chance to share a song. And since somebody didn't sing before me, but Ben just spoke before me, I'll just say uh, PMN would not be what it is without Ben Grosscup. So he deserves a big round of appreciation from all of us. This is a song I wrote uh, six years ago, 2014, and inspired by this time of the year. So the song is very happy to have an opportunity to be sung on its day. And you can post lyrics. That would be fine, Ben, if you want to put the lyrics up. So it is called Light a Light. Light a light, light a candle, O oh, phantom of the shadow, won't you make a spark? Ride a flaming arrow through the heart of the darkness. Light a light, light a light. Way down in the blood and sinew, monsters reaching out to grab you. Deep Shout you make a spark, burn a flaming arrow through the heart of the darkness, light a light, light a light, flesh and bone, 
We all resemble one another. Skin is just a cover. We all come from the mother. We all scar just like each other. Light a light, light a candle. Phantom of the shadow, won't you make a spark? Write a flaming arrow. Thank you, Deborah Silverstein. Thank you. Right. Let's see if we can get our next performer up here. Dave Mason. Welcome, Dave. Good to have you back here. Thanks, Ben. Uh, Deborah, that was a beautiful song, uh, I must say. Um, it's, uh, it's a pity uh, Ben's taken the lyrics down, but um, I think, I think what, an important message for songwriters, just as you have given in that song, is that each of us actually have the ability to elicit change and to, to bring about change. And I think that sometimes we, we get told by people that we're preaching or we're whatever, but I think songs like that are so important because we all need to shine a light, especially in these times of darkness. Um, so that was fantastic and a, a great use of your voice as well. I like that. Very, very, very well, well done, Deborah. Thank you. Um, my song is uh, based on uh, an experience. When I was a youngster, I, I met a homeless guy um, who had lost his house and his job uh, through no fault of his own, actually. He was taken to court for uh, apparently some indecency, and uh, a couple of years later, when the court case had made its way through the courts and everything, he was found uh, not guilty, but... I always wondered when that happened, um, how does somebody go back to normality? I mean, how do you, I mean, he, he'd been living on the streets for two years, his wife had left him, taken the kids, sold the house. Um, and that's one of the facets of the song. Um, so many things that we read about in the papers and some, so many things that we've been experiencing over the last few years of how children who are supposed to be looked after by uh, responsible adults um, have been abused and misused um, and of course there's the huge refugee crisis and how we are supposedly Christian and uh, countries where we are just turning people away because uh, they're slightly different to us or we feel they don't have a place here so this is a little song that is um, it's called How Can a Man um, and of course, it refers to women as well. But uh, it, uh, just for the uh, sake of doing the song, I uh, I used uh, man. Um, I have slightly different words in the third verse uh, because it's one of those <laughs> one of those songs. Uh, any songwriter will tell you that uh, songs are never finished. There's always something that kind of slightly you think, oh, you could say it better or you could do it better, and. Um, and so this third verse has been, and the reason why is that people have told me that it's, it's too, the words are too strong and they're kind of too in your face and everything. But I think maybe when it comes to a uh, subject, uh, subject like this or subject matter like this, uh, maybe it means, needs to be in our face. So a little song called How Can a Man. Thank you. 
When a man loses all that he owns When his loved ones are gone In a storm tossed and blown When he's old and alone Wishing he could go home How can a man And when day after day is the same when it's pouring with rain, his dreams washed down the drain. There's nothing but pain in a world gone insane. How can a man? How can a man face the future? How can a man even try? When everything that he once believed in Is nothing but tears in his eyes When a man can be falsely accused As a child be abused Be molested, misused When love leaves him bruised Unsure and confused Well, how can a man? And when fate, what lies in the stars Truth looked for in bars Leaves him on the cold tar With invisible scars When sympathy jars How can a man How can a man Be upstanding How can he ever feel proud When the weight of all the fears on his shoulders Leaves him battered and bowed When a man is thrown out, dispossessed When he's made to feel less Than his absolute best When he's cursed and oppressed With no means to protest How can a man Can a man. Thank you. All right, Dave Mason. Thank you so much. Wow, beautiful. Dave, where are you? Where are you singing from? I'm singing from uh, Cincinnati in Ohio. Thank you. Uh, but but I uh, obviously I'm British. Um, yes. Yeah. Well, I want to bring our next performer onto the stage. He's Paul Goldman. Um, we had a, a last minute cancellation uh, for the person right before him, but. Welcome, Paul. Give a word to our friend, Dave Mason. Hey, Paul. Hi, Dave. We've uh, crossed paths in other uh, open mics. Good. And your, uh, your story writing and uh, music is beautiful, as always. Uh, very, very heavy song, no doubt about it. I was kind of looking for a slight uh, upturn at the, ba at the end, but... Uh, you didn't disappoint me. You kept it. <laughs> you kept it very consistent, and it is a very important message. Um, how how some people uh, can survive under those 
uh, extreme conditions is is a mystery to me, um, and maybe many more. So. Thanks, um, Paul. So um, I am Paul Goldman from uh, Massachusetts. Uh, I wrote this song just a, a couple of weeks ago. It's called Goodbye 2020, and um, I think you'll understand where all the inspiration came from. It was, but it was actually um, a challenge I heard on the radio to uh, songwriters, so I just picked up the challenge. Never played it on the radio, but that's okay. I'm playing it for you. I want to say goodbye to 2020 Somehow I survived but it wasn't funny I wore a mask But I'm no lone ranger Kept my distance Like everyone's a stranger Did what I was asked to do by those I believed really knew I want to say goodbye to 2020 a year that cost a lot more than money the news told of the numbers dying didn't know their names still felt like crying while others said it was just a joke claimed their liberty was going up in smoke I want to say goodbye to 2020 A time when I really missed you, honey Missed my family and my friends Often wondered how this would end And now December is here who with its chill in the air Yet a cure appears so near Giving me hope for next year I want to say goodbye to 2020 Hoping next year will be sunny I want to say goodbye to 2020 Hoping next year will be sunny Hoping next year will be sunny Hoping 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 Bravo. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> we can use that. Thank you very much, Paul. Appreciate you uh, coming on. Um, I want to welcome our next performer, Alice Sutter. Alice, how you doing? Go ahead and unmute and we'll bring you on stage. Good. Uh, thank you. I'm always honored to be here. And I guess I'll talk about Paul's song. Yeah, well, it was great, Paul. I love the background, your 2021 <laughs> neon, and you sing it beautifully, and it's a message we all can relate to for sure, absolutely. It's been a hell of a year. <laughs> and, oh, my God, I love the guitar and harmonica together. I never understood how anyone can do both. I have enough handling the guitar. 
<laughs> Thank you. It's been really dealing with a lot of loneliness and it's hard, it's hard. So uh, I guess my next song ties in with Paul's. I'll put on my Raging Granny hat because my confidence hat. So the song that I'm presenting, Ben, if you could pull up the words, that would be good. So people can either play sure. along. Actually, it's capo on the first fret because I needed simpler chords. And it's called Paul Celebrate These Times, <laughs> which actually didn't get past the Raging Granny screening because nobody thought we should be celebrating these times. And I, Raging Grannies take songs from everyone else's song. So I took this from Cool and the Gang who sang a wonderful celebration song. And when I witnessed all of the people pouring into the streets after the death of George Floyd and so many others, you know, here we were being um, told to shelter in place and more and more horrible things were happening, more and more rights were being taken away. And then we saw deaths of more and more mostly young black people, but others too, by police violence, by vigilante violence. I think we've lost George Floyd, Elijah McClain, Breonna Taylor, Ahmed Arbery. And just last week we lost Andre Hill in Ohio. It seems to be going on and on. So I wanted to celebrate the people who had the courage in the middle of all this to go out into the streets and take action. And that's what this is about. Hope I can play it okay. We'll try. Okay. Please sing along and play along if you if it suits you. Okay. <laughs> systemic hate and fear. Black lives matter. Young black people lead the way on the shoulders of the ones who march to bring about this day. Celebration. Let's all celebrate taking back the streets. Celebration. Let's all celebrate taking back the streets. COVID pandemic, wanna stay safe, but racist violence pandemic, that can't wait. Everyone around the world, come on. Celebrate these times, come on, we're celebrating, taking back the streets. Celebrate these times, come on, we're celebrating, taking back the streets, getting tear gassed, risking COVID infection, thrown in filthy crowded cells, no protection, yes they hear us now, police defunding, laws are changing, racist statues tumbling, celebration. Let's all celebrate taking back the streets. Celebration. Let's all celebrate taking back the streets. COVID pandemic, wanna stay safe, but racist violence pandemic, that can't wait everyone around the world. Come on. the streets. Celebrate these times, come on, we're celebrating, taking back the streets. We're gonna make some changes tonight. Let's wake up, make it right. We're gonna make some changes tonight. Let's wake up, make it right. Okay. Bravo. Alice Sutter, thank you so much. Yes, 
beautiful. I want to bring on our next performer, uh, who's Jenny Amanda Hurwitz. Jenny, how are you doing? Get you on the okay. stage here. All right. Say a word to Alice. Hi, um, Alice, as always, uh, love, love, love this song. I agree with you. The left sometimes doesn't know how to celebrate while we're trying to fix things that are, that are horrific because it's important. We have to remember. Otherwise, you, you wear down to the point of desperation. You know. So I agree with you, and I love the song, and I always love what you do, and it's good to see you, and I miss you, and I miss the Raging Grannies and miss everybody. I miss um, you, Jenny. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, right. we'll see each she other wrote. soon. Maybe in the yes. summer, right? Yes. yes. Um, uh, yeah. Um, I have to apologize. Um, I I have an unstable internet, um, and um, right now we can't do anything about it. So we we'll just good. do what we can do. You know. Um, I hope you can hear me. I, I just have to double check. La 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 la. Okay, it's balance because some knobs went went kablooey. Um, anyway, this song. Um. Uh, some of you uh, may have heard before um, uh, or not. I, I, I uh, would have liked to have presented it earlier in the month, but I uh, didn't get uh, ran through that. Um, so it is written by the fly who landed on Mike Pence's head during that debate. Uh, but she asked me if I would sing it because she says nobody seems to hear her and not, no human seemed to hear her when she sang. So this is the song. <laughs> I have many eyes I seem to them like an understand of the human middle The world rolls round Sun up, moon down The years wind by But humanity always has to flee Tweedledum and Tweedledee My collective brain tells me your sad history as we feast on the crumbs of your poor and wealthy. It's 40 years. Our friend John Lennon celebrated his 40th birthday. Sums love of guns in the hands of a disturbed boy man. I see an unusual field of white hay grass. I think that I will take a rest. Nothing particular here. Slight scent of fear. The rumble of a voice to me is just noise. I will fly away again. Since I have the choice, no wisdom here, no sympathetic buzz or tear. What's that song you wield in the strawberry field? If that had been the last census killing, we could commiserate it wasn't for nothing. The gods willing, it's a crisp autumn day. Crossing the park, I was running late, some 38 years on, to the rally of dads and moms. Demand action for gun sense, open-hearted bereaved parents whose kids' futures were left in the past by 50-round AR-15s, high-capacity magazines. Your voice is born of sorrow, a hovering dove, and gratitude for having had the time to share and love, and even hope that the human race can rise above. I am the fly. I have many eyes. I've seen too little. I can understand of the human But the ruling people 
those hearts stay brittle what's that song you wield in strawberry field if that hadn't the last senseless killing we could say it wasn't for nothing sorry john willie why do so many of you kill or die while others help each other why without asking why imagine if we all can rise and sing at least as high as this buzzing little insect can fly i am the fly i have many eyes Bravo, Jenny, Amanda Hurwitz. Thank you very much. I want to bring on our next performer, Ruben Gonzalez. Welcome, Ruben. Thank you, Ben. Great to have you. Hey. Jenny, your song was great. Um, John Lennon was a, as an idol, but also peace was another idea of, of of mine and ours. I thank you for like uh, taking the time and writing that song. Um, I, wish, I wish we were together because I have a question for the chords. I wonder if you like a different chord. <laughs> I was trying to myself, oh, that's, you know, things that, uh, um, thanks a lot. And um, weapons are a way of the weak to make himself strong. We know they don't work in the long run. Thank you. Um, I guess on to my song, uh, I have a few things to say about, about it, I guess. Um, my name is Ruben Gonzalez. I come from Argentina and New York City, where am I right now? Um, the song that I'm going to sing um, is, a, is a first person, it's a female voice. The first person. Um, I have an accent, so maybe Ben can put up the lyrics. Uh, but also, sure, don't read too much ahead of time <laughs> to see if we can read with the music. <laughs> this is a longer song, so I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna start. Okay. The radio brought the news: American soldiers were being raped in Iraq by American soldiers. We decided to write a song that may have been truth or not, may have happened, may have happened or not. the phone it's been a while since I last called home they must be worried by now you know I need to tell them that I love them so and my mom is sitting home she is waiting for her daughter to call she's waiting around the green zone oh how this world keeps feeding on its own it sometimes reaches these protective walls i'm on my knees i'm praying all night long yes i learned thou shalt not kill not ever but i'm a woman of war a soldier I fear, but I must fight each day and every night. Home is just so very far away. 
At night I'm lost, it's not the enemy, I fear the most, but my own brother's closing in on me, thirsty for violence and some sick release, and I learned thou shalt not kill, not ever, but I kill you, I'm a woman of war, a soldier. waited for so long, but peace just never comes, it hurts to be so far away from home, blasting homes. If I talk to her, how can I tell her what I'm going through? I'd better not say anything to her. She'll notice how she knows me through and through. Can I please get on the phone? She's waiting, but she can't wait anymore. Bring me home. We waited for so long. We've waited for so long, but peace just never comes. It is to be so far away from home. Bring me home. Bravo, Ruben Gonzalez. Thank you for that song. Wow. Round of applause here, friends. Thank you. Um, I want to bring on Mara Levine. It's good to see you here, Mara. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, Ben. I'm Mara Levine. I'm from Edison, New Jersey. And I want to to say what a beautiful and very poignant song by Ruben and the tragedy not only of war, but of going to war and then the women being assaulted by their own fellow soldiers. And the tragedy of this is there's a statistic that about 25% of women in the military have been sexually assaulted by their male counterparts. And there's also been males assaulted. So it's a serious issue and uh, I'm really glad that uh, Ruben addressed it. And very, you know, very moving song, and it's a little hard to sing my selection after Ruben's. I'm <laughs> going to sing a song written by my friend Arlen Bennett, and this is a, a little more of an uplifting song. Uh, this song is um, really about raising our voices in and taking nonviolent action to affect change, and he references um, Gandhi, and he references. Uh, um, Rosa Parks in the song, without saying their names, you kind of can, can see that it's about them. And I sure hope everybody at home sings along on the chorus. It's very uplifting. So it's called Be the Change by my friend Arlen Bennett. <laughs> stepped on a bus like any one of us after a hard working day she walked halfway back to a seat marked for black and took her place she was someone who really understood how a law would be a crime when she wouldn't give her seat to a white man on his feet yes it was time to be the change you want to see around you be the right in a world of wrong be the one the one 
to make a difference. Be the change. Be the change. Many years before, another place, another war, in the struggle to be free. A wise, barefoot man had his own plan to fight the enemy. He said it makes no sense to use violence as a means to an end. And we must rise above what they would do to us or we become like them. So be the change you want to see around you. Be the right in a world of wrong. Be the one, the one to make a difference. Be the change, be the change. It's a pull of a lever. It's the sound of your voice. It's now or never. Oh, it's a choice to be the change you want to see around you. Be the right in a world of wrong. Be the one, the one to make Mara Levine. Beautiful. Wow, I was singing along with you. I want to bring I want to bring a, a, a new member of PMN onto the stage. I think this is your second time with us on one of these swaps, Len Seligman. Is that right? This this is this my second time. And uh, welcome you back. Can you hear me okay? I think I'm hearing you pretty good, yeah. Okay, great. So um Beautiful song, Mara. You know, your um, vocal might be peaking just a tad, just not much, just a little, little less on the vocal. How's that? Yeah, nice. Better. Thank you. Great. Um, uh, beautiful song, Mara. And uh, I mean, one thing I just love about uh, Mara's music is just she's, I mean, of course, she's got this gorgeous voice, but, you know, you just really... Uh, um, you're in the heart of the song when you're singing so that's uh that's always a wonderful thing so um i've got a song um it's actually going to be on uh, an album that i'm releasing on january 1st and the album is called our T turn now but this song is uh an immigration themed song called um you are home and um, so it was inspired back when certain politicians, I, show, I, I won't name them, uh, were talking about uh, uh, various people that had come from different countries. Actually, they were American citizens, and they were told, you should go back home. And that's really personal for me. I, I mean, I know my ancestors f heard you go back home. You don't belong here. And uh, so this mess, this, the message here is you are home. My Jewish ancestors owned a bakery in a tiny Russian village. 
One day an angry mob burned it down. They had very little time, left everything behind, and sailed away where freedom could be found. When he arrived here, my grandpa applied for a job. With a worried face, he waited in line. The boss said with a sneer, you're not welcome here. We don't hire people of your kind. Go back home, go back home. They screamed at my ancestors, go back home. Immigrants came from Italy, Ireland, Poland too. Bigot said those people don't belong. They drink and they fight. They don't worship right. Send them back if you want to keep America strong. Go back home. Go back home. They screamed at those immigrants. Go back. sing along with that at the end it's you are home you are home no matter where you come from you are home do I have what it takes to learn from my mistakes and tell all of my neighbors you are home Welcome back, Len. That thank you for that song. Wow, beautiful. Um, great to have you back here. I want to bring uh, is Sanford uh, Sanford Edwards uh, here? Did I miss him anywhere? Okay, we're going to try to get him back later. But I want to bring up Joni, our next performer, uh, Joni Cal um, Joni Calum. Uh, welcome, Joni. Did I get your name right? You did. Salem. I remembered Salem and Calum. That was a mnemonic device. <laughs> that is Glad why I back. use it. <laughs> Love that. That was very effective. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. I'll get out of the way now. Thank you. Len, thank you so much for that song. I, I um, have shared a similar one. I have a similar background to yours. So I also have my grandparents story in a song about refugees that was beautiful 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 so um this song that i want to share <clears throat> um so i have to introduce myself that i'm um 
an American Israeli or an Israeli American, depending on um, where I'm sitting at a time. And, and the only reason that's relevant, sorry, let me turn my phone off, is the only reason that's relevant is because the chorus of this song is in Hebrew. I have wanted to write um, a song about this topic for a very long time. It's called Stand Up, um, and it is a call and response song. And it is, of course, a figurative stand up. So if you are physically not able to stand up, that's okay. Um, this is fairly, very similar to the song you shared, Mara, um, with similar sentiments. Um, but though I won't be able to hear you, I invite you to all be the response of those words, stand up. And um, the chorus in Hebrew is based on um, an old saying from the sayings of the ancestors. Um, and the saying in English is, in a place where people are not behaving like people, try and be a person. Um, so the chorus in Hebrew is, um, in a place where there are no people, stand up. In a place where no one is righteous, stand up. In a place where there is no sanity, stand up. And in a place where there is no liberty, stand up. So please, please sing along with the stand up part. Gray and dreary nights bring the light. Stand up where there's no justice, do what's right. Stand up in times of fear and anger, bring the calm. Stand up in times of great suffering, be the balm. Stand up. Bamakom Blianashim Stand up Bamakom Blitzadikim Stand up Bamakom Blishviut Stand up Bamakom Blicherut Stand up Where lies are flying, bring the truth. Stand up. In times of doubt, be the proof. Stand up. In a place of bullies, be humane. Stand up. In a time of craziness, be sane. Stand up. Bamakom Blianashim Stand up Bamakom Blitzadikim Stand up Bamakom Blishviut Stand up Bamakom Blicherut Stand up in times of isolation, be a friend. Stand up. In times of change, learn to bend. Stand up. On days without hope, bring a smile. Stand up. In times of need, walk that mile. Stand up. Every day, every moment, we've a choice. Do I stay silent and passive or use my voice? Do I show that I care or look away? Bring some love and light to this day. Mama, Stand up, Bamakom Blitzadikim. Stand up, Bamakom Blishviut. Stand up, 
במקום בלי חירות, סטנד אפ. בראבו, ג'וני קיילם. All right. Thank you so much. Um, so I am just going through here. We got uh, Robert Brashear coming onto the stage. Welcome, Robert. Thank you. Uh, Joni, thank you so much for that song. I really appreciate uh, it. It's, it. It was amazing to me that uh, you created this sort of multicultural song. On the other hand, it was very accessible and inviting, inviting us in to participate in a very easy way. And I love songs that open the door and bring us in like that. and find us an easy way to participate. So that was, a, that was a good trick to combine two languages and also make us feel comfortable and part of it. So the song I'm gonna sing is, uh, I, I wrote a number of songs during this year. Most of them were angry or snarky and I felt it was really important to do one about hope. And this is like in relation to the virus and I think especially Ah, that uh, we're having a second round of it and have yet to really tame that beast. It's important to be able to have a sense of hope. And so that's what this song is about. They were the first to know the truth of this pandemic. So much unknown, so much to fear. As time went by, they began to listen and were amazed what they could see and they could hear. For the air was clear and the sky And the people of Wuhan heard the birds sing again. In the streets of Assisi, voices fill the air. Through their open windows, their songs fill the square. They're singing for lonely neighbors. sheltered in their homes your neighbors are with you and you are not alone for the age guy it's clear and the sky was blue And the people of the CC heard the birds sing again. At seven in New York City, songs fill the air with pots and pans and shouts and cheers of voices lifting up our heroes. Doctors, lawyers, delivery people, clerks, and more. We're counting on you to see us safe through the other shore. Where the air is clear and the sky is blue. And all the people of New York City heard the birds sing again. We've been handed a moment to stop and catch our breath. We've been handed a moment to decide between life and death. And if we've got the courage to create a new birth, we might learn to save our Selves, we might learn to save the earth and the air will be clear and the sky will be blue and all the people 
people of the earth will hear the birds sing again. Sing again. Sing again. Sing again. Sing again. And all the people of the earth will hear the birds sing again. Bravo. Thank you so much, Robert. Great to hear you again. I want to welcome our next performer as well. So um, is, is Joya here? Um, if not, we are going to move right along to Joe Zosky. Joe is a new member of People's Music Network. I want to welcome him, uh, give a special welcome to you. Uh, I think this is your first time at one of these things. So yes, it is. Maybe you, after you tell us a little bit, uh, after you tell Robert a little something about his song, you could tell us a little extra about you and where, where you live and how you yeah. got connected with us. Sure. Well, Robert, your, your song as a theme of hope spoke to me personally in this very day, because you spoke about different communities um, and how people need to feel they're not alone. And that's what doing this today is doing for me right now. That I can sing, that I can feel in community, and that I'm not alone in that. So thank you. That's the perfect segue for me. That's a gift. Um, I come from between Albany and Saratoga Springs, New York, upstate New York. And um, I've been woefully missing open mics. I've had the pleasure to do one at Cafe Lena and the Eighth Step. Those are sort of famous open uh, cafes around here. Um, been uh, working on songs for a few years, and uh, I have one I'd like to share today, which actually comes from a dream that I had. Uh, I woke up in the middle of the night, worried about just about everything you can imagine. I, I listened to the news probably more than I should. Like, which is probably something we all share. And I woke up worrying about everything from climate change to social justice, nuclear, pro nuclear proliferation, even the cruise my wife and I were going to take. And so in the middle of the night, realizing I couldn't go back to sleep, I had the thought, maybe Chicken Little was right. And from that, I wrote down all that I was worried about, and this is what I came up with. Um, it can seem a little overwhelming with all those worries in life, but I do end on an uptick. So here we go. I plan to take a cruise, but then I heard some stories on the evening news. People getting sick, fires burning out of control. So I'm up all night and I watch TV, but then I start hearing about those killer bees. I better make sure I've closed all the windows and doors. I'm thinking that maybe Chicken Little was right. How am I ever going to sleep tonight? Stocks go up and then they tumble down. We're told, have faith, they'll come around. While our social security is running dry. Invasive species are clogging the streams. The approaching dilemmas even in my dreams. Calamity can strike us any hour of the day. All the pessimists now, I'm thinking. That maybe Chicken Little was right. How am I ever going to sleep tonight? The oceans are rising, the storms are worse, the ice caps melting, it's so perverse. Polar bears never did nobody no harm. 
said swine flu, bird flu, Ebola. Now Zika's found in Florida. I think all those little bugs are starting to win. Why does E. coli in our food and alternate facts make up fake news? Who'd ever think that it would all come to this? I'm thinking that maybe Chicken Little was right. How am I ever going to sleep tonight? What's in the water? Oh, what's in the air? The morning news gives us our daily scare. Like there might just be a nuclear war. It gets worse. An asteroid's come and the scientists say there'll be no place to get out of the way. And just like the dinosaurs, we're all gonna die. So yeah, I'm thinking that maybe Chicken Little was right. How am I ever going to sleep tonight? But in the light of day, I rise and shine, and then I realize what's really on my mind. I need to find a way to make this world a better place. Singing the song may be just a start, but it shines a little light upon the dark. It's time to get up, get dressed, and get to work. Now I'm thinking that Chicken Little Nod, nah, he wasn't right. And I'm going to sleep much better tonight. Bravo, bravo. Thank you so much, Joe. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm, uh, and, and welcome to the People's Music Network. Great to have Thank you, you here. Much. Great to have you. I, I want to bring on our next performer. So it's Brent Kramer, and I'll just bring him onto the stage right now, Brent. So go ahead and unmute, Brent, and you can extend a word to uh, our, our, our one of our newest members. Oh, go, go, go ahead. Thank, thank you, Joe. Joe, right? Yes. Hi, Brent. Hi. I'm not on screen, uh, Ben. Is that right? I uh, spotlighted you. I actually got you and Joe both spotlighted. Okay. Maybe it just doesn't show up here. Okay. Um, yeah. Wow. He had me going there for a while, Joe. <laughs> I thought I thought the whole thing was going to be pessimists uh, peeing, but uh, it certainly was a, what keeps us up at night and I'm, I'm glad you wound up uh, with it with an option to uh, fight back thank you for that so I usually um, only write in response to some news article or story I've heard and this is true of this particular piece it's called the Pea Island Surfman and the story is that before there was a U.S. Coast Guard. There were life-saving stations all along the coast. The Pea Island Station was 30 miles north of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Ships run aground in the Pimlico Sound, the graveyard of the Atlantic. Our job is simple, save them all, lifesavers of Pea Island. Hurricane off Cape Hatteras, 1896. Ships' bells call out their plight, caught aground by the storm on the sea. All those on the Newman could die. All those on the Newman could die. Ships run aground in the Pimlico Sound, the graveyard of the Atlantic. Our job is simple, save them all, lifesavers of Pea Island. 
the P Island crew could put out no boats. The waves were too high, too fierce. There was only one way to save all those souls. This became all too clear. This became all too clear. Two volunteers, strongest swimmers, took tow ropes across the surf. Against the pounding sea, salt and spray making them blind till they reached that broken ship side. Till they reached that broken ship side. Ships run aground in the Pimlico Sound, the graveyard of the Atlantic. Our job is simple save them all, lifesavers of P. Island. Nine times across the relentless waves, these stalwart surfmen swam, rescuing all aboard the Newman, this crew of noble men, these black life saving men, these black life saving men. For 70 years, P. Island remained an all black crew until it closed in 1947. The P. Island surfmen were awarded a gold life-saving medal in 1996. Thank you, bravo, Brent Kramer. Thank you for that song and that, that story. I'm gonna bring on Terry Robin, who's our next performer, longtime PMN member, um, organizer of past winter gatherings uh, that took place in Albany and um, with us here to share a song now. So uh, welcome back, Terry, and uh, feel free to share a word with Brent. Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, that was great, Brent. Um, I saw you the other night when I was watching a video of uh, a People's Voice Cafe concert, I think. <clears throat> anyway. Um, yeah, Brent does the tech, I believe, for People's Voice Cafe. Is that right? Yeah, he, he was hosting it. Yeah, I'm the ho I host. We have another. We have Lev uh, Pinsky do the tech. Yeah. Anyway, I've always enjoyed, I've always thought that uh, song is a great way to teach history. So I'm all, I always appreciate songs like that, that give us some education as well as musical entertainment. And this song is not mine, but I thought about this as a song I haven't done in a long, long time. And I always loved it. And I've always thought of it as a song of hope and friendship and encouragement, comfort. All of the things that you know we've all needed this past year and still do need um and it's by the battlefield band which is a scottish band and um, when i was singing out a lot um, somebody brought me the lyrics and said i really wish you would learn this song so that's how i got turned on to it and it's a wonderful song you can take it in all sorts of different ways and i'm sorry i didn't i didn't know or didn't think didn't realize that we should have brought the lyrics so I can always send those to anybody that wants them anyway it's just a pretty song um the oohs part are supposed to be the my voice replacing the Yulian pipes that uh, are in the original tune you can look that up on YouTube battlefield band it's called start it all over again <laughs> I'm the sea that surrounds you, the garden that grounds you, the sun and the wind and the rain. I'm every season, your every reason to start it all over again. Start it all over again. Soon you sail a wild river, we'll set sail together. The oceans will call out your name. And by stars you will follow your hopes for tomorrow and start it all over again. Start it all over again. And if you stagger 
or stumble, if dreams they do crumble, I'll pick up your pieces of pain. I will cradle you, cry with you, pray that you'll try to just start it all over again. Start it all over again. Who has eyes who can see all the things you can be? Who has ears for the sweetest refrain? May your heart sing forever where the sea meets the river and start it all over again. Start it all over again. Bravo, Terry, great to hear that. I just like to sometimes read out some of what people are saying here, like, hey, Terry, uh, Talbot and I are loving your song and, and your melodious voice. That came from Jenny Amanda Hurwitz, Mara Levine, Teresa, because you also go by Teresa, a beautiful song, lovely singing. So thank you so much. Um, I want to bring I on Paul I, I McKenna. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I just want to bring on Paul McKenna, who's our next performer. Go ahead, Paul. Hi. Uh, thanks, Terry. That was beautiful. Beautiful song, beautiful singing. And um, um, yeah, I have to look up the Battlefield Band on, on YouTube. <clears throat> okay, the song I'm going to sing is called Bring Back the Light. Ben, please display the lyrics. Um, <laughs> Like a Rob, Robert Brashear who sang earlier, this is the first hopeful song I've written in a while. Everything I've written this year in response to circumstances has been either angry or dark humor. <laughs> anyway, this song uses the solstice as a metaphor for emerging from the darkness of COVID and Trump. The tune is All Through the Night, a Welsh folk song, beautiful song. Initially, I wrote just one verse, which I, at the time I felt said everything I had to say. I shared that with a PMM, PMN listserv. Several people encouraged me to expand it to a longer song, including David Tarlow. And with David's help, I've expanded the song to four verses. Um, so um, it has an echo line. It's an alternating echo line. Uh, uh, under, unlike the original, which just has a single echo line. But anyway, um, it'd be nice for people to sing along even while you're on mute, um, just to sort of engage with the song. <clears throat> so um, let's see. Um, can we get the lyrics up there, Ben? Yeah, one more. I'll do that one more time here. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> I've given myself a note here. <clears throat> now the solstice is behind us. Bring back the light. Let the sun of springtime find us. Roll back the night. Leave behind despair and sorrow, guide us to a bright tomorrow. We have had our fill of darkness, bring back the light. All year long the stars grew dimmer, bring back the light. Now at last a new light glimmers, 
roll back the night hope is oh so slowly surging from the long night we're emerging lead us through the cold dark winter bring back the light twas a year when people woke up bring back the light loud and clear we sang and spoke up roll back the night raised our voices strong and steady told the world that we are ready for a new book to be opened bring back the light now a new year stands before us bring back the light join our song rejoice in chorus roll back the night let it echo to the rafters let our tears give way to laughter may the year bring healing for us bring back the light now the solstice is behind us bring back the light let the sun of springtime find us roll back the night leave behind despair and sorrow guide us to a bright tomorrow on the other side of darkness bring back the light thank you thank you paul great Great to hear your songs. Always loving your 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 writing. Did you say that was a a, a co-write? Did you say that? Yes. Yeah, so David Tarlow um, helped me expand it from one verse to four. So, well, I think co-writing is great. You know, I uh, Paul, you and I wrote uh, yeah. co-wrote a song a little while ago earlier in the pandemic. So uh, yeah. it's it's just I think it's really cool when people get together and and do that. Yeah. And I, I just want to particularly appreciate you, Paul McKenna, for your openness to that type of uh, collaboration. I think it's really cool. Thanks, Ben. ben Beautiful. Can you scroll the words down to the bottom so we can see the bottom oh, of the verse. Oh, oh my goodness! Did I forget that? There we go. And I'm still sharing the screen. <laughs> there, you, there it is. So I think we actually have those lyrics in the. Um, lyric folder so if anybody wants to check out that i'll post the the link into the chat again if anybody missed that and want it wants to to check those lyrics out so we're gonna get the next performer on here uh who's gonna speak to paul a little bit and that is dave and susan catechu welcome dave and susan go ahead and uh unmute yourself and you can share a word with our brother paul mckenna hi can you hear us okay Sure can. Okay, great. Um, thanks very much, Paul. Um, you certainly uh, captured what so many of us are, are feeling, and you know, having gone through uh, you know this very dark time, and and looking to a certainly brighter and more hopeful future that we're on the cusp or on the precipice of. And uh, so, you know, it just felt you captured that very well. A lot of great metaphors, and uh, you know, very very well written. Um, thank you and, and thank you thank you um so so this is song that we're gonna do um goes uh, i think it's about you know close to two years that uh i had read a uh, an op-ed in the washington post from a high school student about what it's like uh <laughs> to be in school these days and uh with the threat of gun violence over them all the time and of course it uh you know got me we've all you know, felt, uh, you know, the, the uh, just the horrors of, of the gun proliferation and what it's done to our society. And uh, amongst all the horrors of Trump that's been going on, it seems that, that we've 
you know, that, that's sort of gotten pushed down the list of horrors that we have to deal with. And, um, you know, but it's still there. You know, it was still 50 women a month still being murdered by uh, intimate partners and uh, thousands dying of gun violence. So uh, this is a song that I wrote about it and, you know, that we have the uh, ability to end it um, if we only would. So it's called uh, End Gun Tyranny Today. Heard the news today Another shooting stole innocent lives away Now friends and family gather To share their bleeding pain But there's no relief Only a weak refrain Thoughts and prayers We've got nothing for you Thoughts and prayers There's nothing we can do Thoughts and prayers, you're on your own, it's not enough. Thoughts and prayers, not nearly enough. Thoughts and prayers are never enough. Kids go to school to learn, but what do they learn today? They learn that they're never safe. The next shooting only a moment away so they learn how to survive active shooter drills stealing their time active shooter drills stealing their minds active shooter drills for the sake of their lives it's so wrong arming school so very wrong stealing their innocence so wrong Ooh. columbine virginia tech and newtown pulse las Ooh. vegas and parkland santa fe tree of life and sutherland and so many countless more The list goes on, innocents killed again The list goes on, who will be next? The list goes on, when does it end? It's an open wound A scar on the name America Disgrace on the name of America We're sorry for your loss We're sorry that you paid such a cost We're sorry that we didn't do more That we failed in the covenant of our lives we're sorry our children grow up in such a state. We're sorry gun terror's taken over the place. We're sorry we failed to keep everyone safe. We're so sorry. Sorry that so far we failed. So sorry so far we failed. Every politician in the pockets of the NRA. Every gun owner staying on the side. Every silent parent and lover of life. Gotta stand up for common sense gun reforms. Stand and be heard, no more lives to lose. Stand and be heard, no more children afraid. Stand and be heard, no more fear in the streets, end it today. And gun 
tyranny today and gun tyranny today and gun tyranny today and gun tyranny today Bravo, Dave and Susan. Dave and Susan Catechue, right? Yes. yes. Beautiful. Thank you for that song, friends. I want to bring on Vern MacArthur here who's going to say a word and then tell us his song. We should need to get you to unmute and we'll hear your beautiful voice, Vern. There. <clears throat> that someone said that's going to be the phrase of the year. You're muted. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for that song. There's there's so much going on that wipes out some of these just basic kinds of issues that um, we've got to face and gun tyranny, whether in the hands of uh, crazy people or cops, has got to be addressed. I thank you so much for stating that so directly and powerfully. I'm going to do a song that's very much in process. In fact, the lyrics aren't on the sheet because I wrote half of the song this afternoon. Uh, it speaks to um, a struggle we're having here in Springfield, Massachusetts to block uh, a biomass incinerator here in town. We've been fighting this for 10 years and we call it the zombie project. It keeps raising its head when we think it's gone. Um, and recently it is being raised because the governor behind the scenes has managed to sneak into a climate bill that's otherwise very strong language that says that biomass is non-carbon emitting, which is simply not true. It emits half again as much carbon as coal when burned up to one ton a minute. So we're mobilizing against that and I decided the guy's name is Charlie Baker, so it's time to sing a song uh, about a story named, about a guy named Charlie. So I'm trying to put this out on the airwaves and through social media to call out the dishonesty of what's going on. Uh, anyone in Massachusetts that shares these concerns, add on to the song, change it, add a different song. We've got to get this stopped. Uh, the song goes like this. Let me tell you of a story about a man named Charlie on a tragic and fateful day. He put some money in his pocket, kissed his wife and family, hitched a ride on the biomass train. Will he ever learn? Well, he hasn't learned. And while our fate he will determine, he'll lose bad air or the streets of Boston. He's a man who just won't learn. One ton a minute of carbon, one ton a minute, one ton a minute of carbon, Charlie says that's okay. Charlie turned in his integrity at a bank in Boston as he moved to pave the way for a plant out in Springfield. As he fiddled with the silence, trying to make it all look okay. Will he ever learn? No, oh, well, he hasn't learned. While our fate he does determine, he'll lose bad air or the streets of Boston. He's a man who just won't learn. Charlie keeps on saying biomass is real clean as he tries to make the science go away. But the people all learn it's dirtier than coal. 
to gotta get ourselves off of that train one ton a minute of carbon one ton a minute one ton a minute Charlie says that's okay folks are standing up across the whole commonwealth saying hey Charlie that ain't okay we won't roll over let this climate in just to take our health and future away will he ever learn or will he hasn't learned he'll lose bad air or the streets of Boston he's a man who never learned one ton a minute of carbon one ton a minute one ton a minute of carbon charlie says that's okay thank you bravo Vern macarthur thank you so much for that song um since I'll be performing next, I get to say a little word about that. And it's funny because I think, uh, like you said, that Springfield has been fighting this uh, for 10 years. Now, you live in Springfield, Massachusetts. I live in Greenfield, Massachusetts. I used to live in Amherst. And when I did, I actually think I went down to one of those public hearings to stop the biomass yeah. plant. I think I was, remember seeing you there, yeah. Yeah, man, it's been that long. I mean, that is really crazy, this zombie thing. And I could just imagine, I mean, I guess we're not doing in-person hearings anymore, but that was like a big mobilization thing that people, the activists were doing to try to stop the the darn, the darn plant. And I was just thinking like, that would be great testimony right there. You know, like- Yeah, well, you know. The, the one thing, it, apparently this is a test case. There's a lot of big money behind this from the biomass industry, not just in, in Massachusetts, because, you know, trees grow back, so they try to claim it's renewable. Right. But it just releases a lot of carbon when burned, so. Well, and yeah, it's, it's an incredible scam. And I think it's all part of this general illusion that we can, you know, just, burn our way out of the climate crisis yeah, you know? yeah. It, 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 it it's it's incredible um how how widespread that idea actually has become but um, and it is a great example of your song sacrifice zone uh, they want to stick it out here in springfield uh to turn the city into a sacrifice zone the asthma capital of the u.s by the american lung and heart association so yeah yeah. Well, I always think using the song Charlie and the MTA to uh, to, to go after Charlie Baker is a good idea. Um, I've, I've, I've written uh, two different parodies to that same melody. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful work, man. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, so um, I will uh, just say with you, you now, I, I, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> um, Yes, so so I'm gonna try to stick close to this microphone here and, and give you this next song. But um, the song was first written by Phil Oakes in 1965, and he sang the song "Love Me, I'm a Liberal" at a big anti-war demonstration organized by the Students for a Democratic Society. So that was the first time this particular song got out, and uh, you know it's been controversial for a long time, uh, on both as a as a source of controversy, but also kind of reflecting the controversy of the left. So what I'm about to sing to you is is a effort at re writing song re making new words to the old song based on new events. I've been working on this rewrite in some ways ever since uh, 2012. And uh, this is going to be the first time you all have heard the very latest version, which is kind of similar to all the other versions I have out on YouTube. I have several versions of this, but anyway, here it goes. <clears throat> I mourned the Tiananmen martyrs whose free speech was so brutally quelled. And I cheered when Mandela walked freely after so many years in a cell. But Mr. Assange can rot in prison those secrets were not his to tell so love me love me love me i'm a liberal 
I attend sensitivity trainings and I leave feeling so reassured. I love Oprah and magic and foreman. It's great to see blacks become entrepreneurs. But don't talk about single payer unless the vote can be deferred. So love me, love me, love me. I'm a liberal. I cheered when Obama was chosen, my faith in the system restored. And I'll never forgive Ralph Nader for the race he stole from Al Gore. And my neighborhood welcomes all races if the rent's not too high to afford. So love me, love me, love me, I'm a liberal. Voters need more education to defend America's name. Our enemies seek to control how their minds work, and Vladimir Putin's the man who's to blame. But if you just want to give people money, you must be complete. Oh yeah, you, you really must be insane. So love me, love me, love me. I'm a liberal. I listen to all things considered. I'd consider anyone's views. I watch Colbert and Rachel Maddow. I use irony in everything I do. But when Trump set his sights on Maduro, there was no one more red, white, and blue. So love me, love me, love me. I'm a liberal. I vote for the Democratic Party. They're strengthening NATO command. I saw Bono at the Live Aid concert. I'd buy anything endorsed by his brand. We're gonna make poverty history. I'm on Facebook taking a stand. So love me, love me, love me. I'm a liberal. Sure once. I was young and impulsive. I wore every conceivable pin. I fought for a socialist future, which I actually thought we might win. Ah, but I've grown older and wiser, and that's why I'm turning you in. So love me, love me, love me. I'm a liberal. Thank you all very much. Yeah, all right. Well, now who's going to select the next person? Okay, no, it's. I think it's going to be Sanford. Sanford Edwards. I think this is your second PMN song swap. How you doing, Sanford? Welcome. And I think after Stanford, we're going to go to the wait list and we'll at least be able to get in um, Tony, Tony Harper, I believe. Unmute myself. Yeah. What's going on? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Hearing, hearing you good. All right. How do I sound? We got you. All right. Well, uh, it's good to see Robert. Um, Robert used to host a... Uh, an event down at the church on 86th Street. And uh, unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we don't even know what the state of that church is right now. So I guess uh, all we can do is send prayers. Uh, my song isn't not so much political as it is uh, spiritual. 
and it deals with the struggle within us, all of us, or within each of us, and how we relate to each other in life, um, what awakenings we have, or what thoughts or questions we have about living, especially, uh, I think, I could see that there's a good majority of here who have been around for a while, right? Been around more than uh, 30 years, 40 years here. So your experiences are uh, become more precious as they get older. And I'm sure you've probably had some of these questions. This song is called Yes. <clears throat> Just happen to say Sorry about that Well, I'm walking with the spirit of enlightenment As twilight sun roams the coastal plains Reflecting to the road I feel the heat on the sand Rainbow shimmer across the crashing wave to live naturally. No transgressions. Love faithfully. No inhibitions. Spirit of enlightenment as my thoughts ponder our relations. Contemplating answers for the questions I have, I'm seeking illumination to live peacefully. Faithfully, doubt our own hearts, good intuition. So take the time to live, take the time. Sing the same old Christmas songs and recall this New Year's past. <laughs> Just gotta give it a day or so for the memories to digest sometimes, will it? Made me pause for reflection. I had to think real fast. All alone in the closed corner section of the Valley Cafe it was just 20 minutes after midnight. So I lost the drink I drank as I drank it like way too fast and caught myself medicating the sadness till I totally lost myself at last and still I said yes to the present and goodbye to a long lost past tomorrow's only unknown futures are lazy yesterday's last laugh and still unsure what life's all about gonna take the time to work it on out while I'm living with the spirit breathing with the spark walking with enlightenment and love in my heart, yeah Don't wait for the question Just when you have the answer This one life that you got to know Call on the master to live Happily, just like heaven Love faithfully Without question So 
to take the time to live Take that time time to give each other so take the time to live take the time to give take the time to love one another and keep on living with the spirit keep on Laughing with your heart, keep on living with the spirit of enlightenment. Cause you know life can go so fast. Bravo, Sanford Edwards. Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow, beautiful, beautiful guitar and singing there. Um, I'm gonna bring on Tony Harper from the UK. How you doing, Tony? Must be late where you are. Um, welcome, yeah, hi, welcome. hi folks yeah that was so, great so i'll just say real quick uh before you come on you know we we do these wait lists now and uh you, i think we had you at first but there was like 14 other people on the wait list so uh so glad we could get to you i think you'll be the only one we're able to make it to welcome tony yeah hi ben hi ben and welcome everyone yeah th thanks for that sanford i loved your um your jazzy guitar stuff i can't do that kind of stuff on guitar <laughs> and and the, i think the um thank you the thoughts and you know the notion of sort of um, what one what this pandemic's taught everybody i think is we've got to spend more time thinking about what we're doing mm -hmm. in relationships and in the world the exactly. whole thing and uh, so i enjoyed it thanks very much thank you um yeah it's been a great night and uh, hi everyone from, from it's a dark cold uh, snowy manchester here um this, I'm going to do. A, I'm going to take it back over to um, to the states. Is that there's a singer that I really like called Jim Page from Seattle. I don't know. If you're probably familiar with him. I think he's a wonderful songwriter. And um, I was looking around some of the things he was doing, and um, he did this at um, it was a, a live stream thing. It's on YouTube, and it's with a, a concert given by somebody called J.R. Rhodes, who's a singer, singer songwriter. I'd, I've not come across her before. And, and Jim was supporting her on this. And this is a song that they finished the evening on, or one of the songs they finished the evening on. And it's called The Time Is Now. Can you hear that, Ben? Or... Yeah. Things to come and things to pass. Pure and simple, made of glass Feed the future, weed through the past To fix it fast and to make it last The time is now Now is the time The time is now Now is the time Time has come and time has gone Pick up roots and you move along Rise up early before the dawn Start out standing and you come on strong The time is now Now is the time The time is now Now is the time Got eyes to see, you got ears to hear You know very well what's happening here Don't make light of people's tears Stand up now and face your fears Cause the time is now Now is the time The time is now Now is the time There was a time when the winter came 
and all the world turned cold. There'll be a time when the spring arrives, when all the flowers unfold, and the future belongs. The future belongs to the bold. Don't let it scare you, the noise in the day. So many millions arise everywhere. Polish the glass and hold it up to the air. Look in the reflection, you'll see yourself there. The time is now. Now is the time. The time is now. Now is the time. Now we stand with our wind against the backs We are the eye of the storm Look at the world and the world looks back the Drum beats a rhythm to warn And the future is just The future is just being born Fuses were lit such a long time ago That stutter and that spark and that fade and decay The clocks are on fire at the edge of the day We look at each other and we'd what we'd say And the time is now Now is the time The time is now Now is the time Time is now, now is the time, the time is now, now is the time, now is the time. Bravo. Jim Page song. <laughs> Jim Page, you know, he is one of my favorite songwriters and to hear you you sing that song i'm like you didn't have to tell me that was jim page for me to know that that was a jim page song although i had not heard that particular one before very beautiful um thanks thank you for for bringing him into this space well friends um i want to i want to thank everybody who who participated i want to remind you that the people's music network virtual winter convergence is at the end of the month this is building on a on a 40 year long tradition, actually. Um, and we hope that y'all will be able to join us. Um, and I am going to be sending out some some emails earlier this early, early this coming week, uh, with with more information about it. I want to wish everybody a happy and safe new year. And also, you know, just sending love out to everybody uh, under these conditions of lockdown and quarantine, um, where a lot of people are, are sick, a lot of people have family members who are struggling. Uh, either with health or you know economically um, is really a time when we're we're trying to to maintain uh, a sense of community as 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 a network and uh, doing whatever we can do uh, to, to to that end. So with that, um, I'm going to encourage folks to to keep signing up. You'll be hearing more from us soon uh, about People's Music Network events, certainly at the end of January, but also in between. And uh, I'm going to cut the live stream. And for those who would like to hang out, we got, I just want to say we've had about like 10 people on Facebook, uh, rough, roughly in the same, same number, about 10 people on, on YouTube through most of this event. And we've got 25 people here in the Zoom room. So all combined, we're, we're, we're making it happen here. And um, I'm going to cut the live stream. And then folks who would like to hang out in the Zoom room are quite welcome.